This week has been filled with major headlines in the U.S. and around the world. When America's Rachel Asenas takes us through the top stories in our Week in Review. The week begins in California. President Trump meets with Governor Gavin Newsom to discuss the widespread wildfires raging throughout California. Also in California Monday, a manhunt for the suspect responsible for the ambush shooting of two L.A. County Sheriff's deputies. Plus, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals sides with President Trump to phase out temporary protected status for hundreds of thousands of immigrants leaving in, living in America. Tuesday. This is peace in the Middle East without blood all over the sand. The White House hosts the signing ceremony for Israel's historic U.S. brokered peace deals with the UAE and Bahrain. Also that day, the city of Louisville settles with the family of Breonna Taylor for $12 million. Midweek. White House outlines a comprehensive plan to distribute the coronavirus vaccine free of charge for all Americans. Meanwhile, Sally makes landfall in Alabama as a Category 2 hurricane. Plus, football returns. The Big Ten votes to start the 2020 football season in October after initially delaying it over COVID-19 concerns. Thursday on Capitol Hill. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says Democrats are unlikely to support any coronavirus aid that's under $2.2 trillion. And the nation celebrates 230 years since the U.S. Constitution was ratified. September 17 is Constitution Day, and for President Trump and his administration, a hallowed occasion. Finally, on Friday. We have major news tonight out of the nation's capital. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg has died this evening due to complications with pancreatic cancer. President Trump declares today National POW MIA Recognition Day to honor those American prisoners of war and those who served and never returned home. And the Commerce Department announces the ban of any U.S. business transactions with Chinese app TikTok. And finally, we are excited to exercise our rights as a citizen and we are revved up to vote for our candidate. Voters head to the polls in Minnesota, Virginia, South Dakota and Wyoming as early voting kicks off for the November presidential election. Rachel Asenis, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.